What is up everybody, it's King Kunta, and as you can see here, this is a different video game than the one I normally post videos on. And I will actually show you as to why I did not post a video on World of Warcraft today. Come on. Why? Please. Why, Blizzard? Why would you do this now when I have to upload videos? Actually, I might. But today we're going to be going over actually a cool Skyrim spot. And I know that some of you might not actually watch this video or some of you might watch the video. Um, but, you know, we're just going to go ahead and give it a shot. And today I'm going to be teaching everybody watching this video how to actually get this bow at level 1, which is a better bow than the bow you start off with. And it's actually equivalent to the Orcish bow with a kind of cool little uh, trick added to it. Um, so right now I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of explain to you, uh, you know, basically what the bow is and what we're gonna be doing with it. So this bow, uh, currently is, uh, actually a hidden item location that was actually, uh, found kind of recently. And, uh, this bow has a special ability in that what it does is when you hit an animal with the bow, it actually does an extra 20 points of damage. Now, the base damage on the bow itself is actually 21, so that is on par with the Orcish bow at level 1, and you can actually obtain this bow at level 1. It's actually not hard to do at all, and when I've been starting new archer characters, this is actually um, what I have been doing, just to go ahead and get a head start. And it, there's also a way to boost your um, archery skill to begin with as well uh, as we have a book nearby and I'm about to get attacked by a bear and yeah so as I'm running from this bear I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video and we're gonna show you uh, exactly why you want to farm this bow and why it's great and everything and before this bear kills me I'm gonna cut the video and bye all right everybody so as you can see here we are currently right next to clear spring tarn and if you actually don't know where this is it's uh, quite close to Riften, so if you have um, Riften unlocked, you can basically just run here. It's right here, so you can see. So if you just run from Riften, or even take uh, the staples or stables from White Run to Riften, then run here. It's uh, quite easy to get here. So as you can see, we're at Clear Spring Tarn. Now there is a kind of like little lore, I guess. Well, not really lore, but just kind of like dynamic moment that happens. There's these. Uh, archers that show up and they actually poach all the deer in this area and they actually tell you that they're poaching the deer so they're actually bad people so we're just gonna go ahead and pretend that we didn't do this I cannot best you. and we're gonna let Lydia take care of some of them and the other one's swimming for some reason quite an odd choice of combat skills but whatever so once you're at actually Clear Spring Tarn, uh, there also is a chest underneath the spring that you can find here. Uh, it says the chest is apprentice for me, but it's uh, level it's level lock basically. So like, depending on your levels, what it will be. If you're level one, it's obviously going to be no ice. And uh, I got a ring and a sapphire out of that chest. But the main reason we're here is not for that chest. It's for after we cross the uh, Clear Spring Tarn, we go down here, this little kind of rocky cliff area. And uh, we walk into this area over here, and there is actually a hidden unmarked cave right here. And this is called uh, the Clear Spring Cave right here, and inside is actually where we are able to find the bow. So we're going to go ahead and enter the tarn now. <clears throat> So if you see, uh, we walk in, first thing we notice is there's some vegetation and stuff everywhere, but if, as we turn this corner, we see a troll. Now if you are a lower level and uh, you are doing what I recommended you do in the beginning of the video, the easiest way to actually get past this, because it will kill you, um, what do you need? because it will kill you, is to, is the fact that the troll will like, you know, literally go attack you. So. The easiest way to get past this is if we send Lydia to go do that for us, in which we don't even have to attack it, we can loot and then leave. So we're going to send Lydia to go attack the okay, troll right it. now. As you can see, I just did that. And while she's attacking the troll, I can just run right past her, and as you can see, it kind of like kills other things. And right here we see the bow of the hunt, which we're going to take that. 
And then right here, if you read this book, it will increase your archery level, so you can do that. Mine's already maxed out, so it won't increase anything. And also, really quick, we have a chest, where you can take the garment and potion of extreme magicka or whatever's in there. Grab all these potions, and while Lydia is still fighting that troll, we can just straight up run out of the cave. Like that. Just like that. And as you can see, we got out of the cave, troll didn't kill us. Everyone's still here, and Lydia will return to us eventually after all that, because she always does. And uh, yeah, that's all you actually have to do to get the uh, weapon in game. And as you can see, uh, the bow of the hunt does 21 damage by itself, and animals take an extra 20 points of damage. So, uh, this bow is actually really good for killing animals, and it does do more damage than the base bow that you start off with. And it does about the same damage as an orcish bow. So if you want to start the game off at a head start with this kind of bow, uh, it'll definitely make it way easier to go ahead and progress to the rest of the game. Um, I actually have been using this method for a while now, and uh, I still do it whenever I start a new character that I actually plan on making an archer. So yeah, if you guys uh, did like this video, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, just leave a like, comment, or maybe even subscribe down below. Also, check out the links in the description because I keep all of the uh, all my PC specs uh, in the description down below. So if you want a computer, you know that's similar to mine, or maybe you want to start being a YouTuber or something like that, it's just a way to kind of show you, um, you know, that's you know, that's stuff you could buy that might work. Anyways, it's been King Kutig, everybody, and I will see you in the next video.